Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Friday, May 17th, and it's currently 4.33 p.m., and I have my new reborn baby, Missy, by Natalie Flick here. And I just literally finished doing his blanket reveal, not even 30 seconds ago. But I have to change him. He's literally been limbs everywhere for a week straight. So I'm going to change him. He is overstuffed. I, I waited him. I stuffed him. I just got done from doing that right before I did the reveal video. And um, yeah, I put a little bit too much stuffing in him. So we're going to like fix that. But just not now because, you know, we have bigger fish to fry. And we're not going to worry about that right now. But I'm going to put this love size three diaper on him. And you know what? Maybe I'll even get him a different body. I mean, this is just a standard 23 inch body, which he's supposed to be on 23 inches. But... I don't know, it looks a little short. Or maybe it's just kind of how I stuffed him. I don't know. We'll see. But this is a love size three diaper. Fits him good. For now. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have a name. Oh, look, that worked. <laughs> I know this looks crazy, huh? Okay, look at him. Oh, that might have worked. I might not have to restuff them. Stuff him. Um, I don't have a name for him. I know. I had a long time to think of a name, but I don't have one. But I do, however, <laughs> have two different outfit choices. So it's super hot. We're in the 90s. And um, I got this really cute brand new uh, sh shorts outfit. But the only problem is it's a size newborn. But I think it might fit. If it don't fit, I have a backup outfit that's size six months. But, you know, like, even though... I know not to buy newborn clothes for him. I feel like he can get away with some. So this is Carter's. And it's like these fake little denim jeans. I just feel like he can wear these newborn size jeans because they're stretchy. But I might just have to take these off. Because. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't have his first outfit not fitting right. Okay, they fit. Barely. Like, if he was a real baby, he'll be saying, help me, help me. But since he's not, we're saying, these work. And they don't look crazy either. You know, sometimes they just be too tight where it's like, ew, take it off. But these fit, in a way. Kind of. <laughs> now let's hope the best for the shirt, which I think should be good. Should be good. But yeah, guys, he literally has been sitting here for a week. And the crazy part about it is I had the supplies. I ordered the supplies the same day, and they came the next day. And I did not put them together. I feel so bad. I feel like I never neglected a baby like this before. My poor stink of it. Look, it's so cute. You guys know I always have to make my baby's boys, but I already... I had this baby getting custom made as a boy. Like, I already went in with the mindset that he was going to be a boy. So, yeah. All right, shirt. Don't let us down. Because what newborn is wearing a shirt anyways? Okay, shirt. You're letting us down. <laughs> no. You can't, you can't wear this. Now I don't even want him to wear the other outfit. But we're going to put it on him anyways. Okay, well, he can't wear this outfit because him is too chunky and he doesn't fit it. So, <laughs> we're going to put this other outfit on him and he's going to be hot. But oh well, because it's cold here. Well, in the house it's cold. That's why all the baby, all the babies have blankets on. Okay, except for Charm doesn't have a blanket on, but he's like so cozy. I would turn the camera so you guys can see him, but yeah. Also, Joycey doesn't have a blanket, but I'm going to give her one. I just gave her the hospital blanket that I used to reveal him in. Okay. But yeah, otherwise, you know, all the babies got blankets. Looking all cute and stuff. Okay. Let me show you guys the next outfit. Well, you know what? Give me like two minutes. I want to see if there's a different outfit in here with some shorts. That he can wear. If not, then I just put that one on. I mean, there's a romper 
I don't want to know what I want for the rest of Okay, the rest, the rest of the outfits that are short sleeve, I don't really like them. And then the rest that I do like is long sleeve, so I might as well keep what I already have picked out. Okay, so it's this really cute Wrangler outfit, size six months, and it is this really pretty army green color. Or it's kind of like an olive green, really. And dinosaurs all over it, and then it's these darker tanned khaki pants. And we're just gonna put this on him, and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna look cute, even though I really want him to wear them shorts. <laughs> but he's still gonna look really cute in this. Isn't that right, buddy? Okay. So, I'm gonna put this on him. I should have got a short sleeve white onesie to put under, but do I feel like getting up again? No. Do I feel like looking for it? No, even though I'm pretty sure as soon as I look over, I'll be able to spot it because the closet is the actually only thing that's organized in this room because I neglected it, unfortunately. Sad truth. Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. <laughs> you guys remember that? Okay, anyways, enough about me rambling. Let's talk about this baby boy. Did you guys think it was going to be this kit? Let me give you guys a rundown on how this boy came about. So, I was just scrolling. This is back when I had more time to scroll. Now I can't. I try to check the Reborn Facebook groups at least once a day. I'm lucky if I'm able to check it. <laughs> um, but this is back when I actually like checked it like frequently. Like multiple times a day and i saw his artist posting that they were doing um kit paintings and i've seen his artist work multiple times because someone that i followed had one of her dolls they were so beautiful and i just thought oh my gosh i wish i can afford a doll like that and so she was doing like uh she was advertising in one of like the groups saying that she was doing custom kit paintings and i'm like that's perfect like, I prefer kit paintings because they're usually cheaper, and I usually have the stuff at home, so I could just put them together myself. No biggie. And so, I was like, you know what? Let me reach out. Let me not be scared to reach out. Sometimes I'm scared to reach out because I don't want to be like, oh, this is cute. Look, it says Wrangler on the back of the little pants. Because I don't want them to say, like, a price, and I'm like, either it's too much for me, or I just don't want to pay that. And then they're like, Ew, she's a time waster or something like that. So I really hardly ever reach out. So I only reach out when I'm like, oh my gosh, let me actually reach out if I really want it. And I was able to afford the kit painting for his size. And so I was like, oh my gosh. I put down a deposit and I knew I, knew I wanted Missy for this kit painting. I already knew I wanted Missy for this kit painting because I've been seeing a ton of Missy blanks around for really good prices. I mean, they weren't retail prices, but they were like a really good price for him being, for the kit being sold out limited edition. So I put down a deposit and I'm like, okay, when I get this kit, I'm going to send it to you and things like that. But I'm like, I don't have the kit yet. And she's like, no problem. She was super nice. She's like, no problem. Guys. Why I could not find Missy Blank? I know you guys can't really see him. Oh my gosh, I'm bad at filming and everything too. But I could not find Missy Blank anywhere. Like literally nowhere. I'm like, you guys literally just had Missy up for sale. Right before I wanted it. Or was able to get it. And then now that I want it and trying to get it, the Missy's not for sale anymore. So it took me a long time to find the blank. Like a month. Got the book, got the kit shipped out, and then yeah, and then I was I asked how much was rooting because I knew I wanted to I knew I wanted the hair rooted, but I just wasn't sure if she was able to squeeze it in since I initially didn't ask about it, but she was able to, and then yeah, I got my boy, and this is him. So look at these cool disparities. You know we have to shout out the baby's aunt, Aisha over at Raising Diversity on Instagram for sending us these adorable Sperry's. I don't think anybody has ever wore them. 
And so he's going to be the first one to wear them. Oh, my gosh. And they fit perfectly. These are his shoes. These are officially his shoes. And I'm not only saying that because he's the only one I can wear them. And nobody else can because they can't fit them. Because their feet are too little. But <laughs> I'm saying that because he's rocking these. He looks so cute in them. Oh. Now I'm going to have to find like outfits like this so I could just put these fairies on him. I'm going to find any reason to put fairies on him. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised. I'm, okay, I, I am. I'm a little surprised that they fit him literally perfectly. He barely has any room at the top. Okay. Anyways, this is him. Let's do something to that hair. I only have a little bit of water. Do I feel like getting up to get more water? No. We're going to do what we got. Okay, let's sweat his hair. This is how this how his hair came, like this its natural state. So I want to see how his curls are when it's wet. And I get my baby's hair drenched in water. I know a lot of people say, "Don't get your baby's hair too wet," but do what you want. And this is what I want to do. Okay. I know I got this itty bitty baby comb. <laughs> I know. But I didn't I don't have anything else down here to use. His hair is rooted, oh my gosh, beautifully. His hair reminds me of uh Milano's and it also reminds me of Solana's because they're rooted one hair per hole. And you're able to do a lot more styles with it. Like you're able to even like part it like it's a real baby's hair. Or like a real scalp I should say. So, I love that. You guys know I love doing the baby's hair. But he's not going to get anything special. Maybe I'll... <laughs> Look at him. Looking like a little... Looking like a little emo kid. I said I don't want any dinner, mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to have fun with him. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a ponytail. I don't have... I don't really want to mess up his part either. Or his his swirl. You see? I think he's like directionally rooted. Do I really want to mess that up? Can I fix it again? Can it be fixed? If I put his hair in a ponytail, can it be fixed? <laughs> okay. I'm going to take him out this boppy. And set that right there. I want you guys to see too. So... Look at his hair. I'm still impressed. So impressed. Okay, this is not going to work without a proper comb and brush. So, we're going to just leave it down. We're going to leave it down. We're going to leave it down and show all of that beautiful, beautiful hair. Sorry guys, I bumped into you. Okay. Let's get this lint out of your hair, buddy. Okay. <laughs> this is him. I'm probably going to play with his hair off camera. But that is my new baby boy. Again, this is the Sought Out Limited Edition Missy Kit by Natalie Blick. I have to go. My foot is literally asleep. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me take you guys down really quick. Okay, this is him. He does not have a name. I haven't even thought about thinking of a name, so no names in mind for him. Let me show you guys his nails. Sometimes it's hard for me to focus it. Like, I know it looks blurry, but... 
His nails are like so good. Yeah, this is him in his outfit. That's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys want to follow us on Instagram, you guys can do so at my underscore reborns. And if you guys like this video, get a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want to comment. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.